Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to show how we can hide the skeleton inside of Autodesk Inventor's frame generator, particularly in the parts list on the drawing. I'm going to start out with this frame that I've just completed, and it's a very typical frame. It's a skeleton made out of a solid and some uh, sketch geometry, and then the members that comprise the frame. I'll go to my drawing, and we've already got a view created, so let's just place a parts list off the annotate tab. Select that, place it in the upper right hand side of the corner. And now we see that the skeleton shows up as a part, even though we don't want it to, it's a phantom component. So let's go ahead and make it just that, a phantom component. So I'm going to go back to my assembly now, and I'll click on my bill of materials icon off the assemble tab. And we'll go ahead and zoom in, and let's change it from normal to phantom in the bomb structure column. I can do that in either one of the three tabs. Model tab shows me exactly how I built my model. There's all the members. Structured shows how it would appear with sub-assemblies. And parts only shows just a list of parts. And that's it. Now the numbering sequence is wrong, so let's go ahead and renumber those. I'll start it at 1 with an increment of 1. And inside the assembly, I'll give it a new numbering scheme. Select that. Now we have our new numbering scheme. Now I can go back to my drawing. And without doing any extra work, my numbering scheme's already been corrected, and that skeleton has been removed, and I see exactly what I need. Now for one little added bonus, I'm going to go over to my browser and find the skeleton there, right-click on it, and hide its visibility so I indeed see the frame exactly as I should. So that's it, how to make your skeleton phantom and hide it out of that assembly. Thanks for watching, everybody.